Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today we've been invited on board the Coast Guard Cutter Lilac, which is a 1930s era lighthouse tender that was operated up into the 1970s. She is the last preserved Coast Guard Cutter that used triple expansion steam engines, and one of only three steam-powered Coast Guard Cutters that exist as museums today, the other two being the steam turbine ships Taney and Ingham. We are in Lilac's engine room right now, which features her two triple expansion steam engines, including this one right here, which we will go down below in a second and see the pistons that operate it. But from up here, you can see the size of the various cylinders from the high pressure where the steam first comes in, the medium pressure, and then the low pressure, whereas it's lost a lot of its force actuating the pistons on its way through, it now needs a bigger surface area to do the same amount of work. Lilac is currently at Cadell's shipyard on Staten Island for some work over the winter, but you can visit her at Pier 25 in New York City. And she's normally open from Memorial Day to mid-October. Check her website for more information. We'll have all the links down in the description below. So, older style dreadnought battleships had triple expansion steam engines like this. In fact, we got to see a uh, slightly larger set on the Battleship Texas not too long ago, uh, but we didn't film a video there because their YouTube channel is going to talk about it at some point in the future. Uh, but here's a picture of us checking it out. American battleships and German battleships primarily continued using the older style triple expansion steam engines uh, up until the, the super dreadnoughts switched to turbines. British dreadnoughts, starting with HMS dreadnoughts, went straight to steam turbines. That was the new, uh, more eff efficient technology. However, the triple expansion steam is much simpler. So it doesn't die out with the use of uh, steam turbines, the much more complex systems. Uh, like we already said, Lilac serves up into the 1970s. Um, in the 1930s, we're building what seems like the last generation of these ships. And then World War II happens, and the Liberty ship design featured triple expansion steam engines uh, because it was simpler, you could throw it on there real cheaply, uh, and because a lot of the materials needed for the steam turbines were going towards these Navy ships that had to attain high speeds. Um, triple expansion steam engines, don't typically get your ship going faster than 20 knots, uh, whereas steam turbines can. And of course, nowadays, there are very few of either type in operation. So, uh, besides being from an older style of ship than Battleship New Jersey, a lot of the other stuff is very similar. Uh, here is the engine order telegraph that was used. Same concept as you've seen us talk about on New Jersey. There's one of these on the bridge, with the wheels uh, for port and starboard, and then that will actuate this needle here, rings a giant bell in the overhead, uh, and then your operator down here pulls their lever to show the guys up on the bridge that they saw and understand the order and are matching it. But then this is where you actually do it. These are your uh, equivalent of the throttles. On New Jersey, it's a, a set of wheels that you're using, here you've got two levers, one for each the uh, port and starboard engine. So this inner lever is pretty cool. This is what determines if you're going forwards or, or backwards. On New Jersey, you have to close a valve uh, for a head and then open a valve for a stern and literally send the steam in in the opposite direction. Here, you throw that lever and it does the same thing. You might notice down here it's actuating a piston when you do that. And then this is the actual throttle uh, where you're telling it how fast you want to go or slow. And again, you've got one for each side. So now we're in the lower level of the engine room and things down here, with the exception of a different style of engine, are pretty similar to Battleship New Jersey. There's a lot of steam powered pumps that are moving the various fluids, lubricating oil, uh, not really fuel oil over here back in the boiler room, that would be the case. Um, feed water, cooling water, all that. The uh, condenser drum is behind us here. Like Just like on Battleship New Jersey, you've got a condenser to turn 
or the steam back into boiler feed water, which again is fresh water, uh, not the sort of salt water that you're sailing through. And here you can see the triple expansion steam engine. It's got the three pistons on it, one for each, the high pressure, the medium, and the low pressure. And this is much more visual than on Battleship New Jersey, whereas our engine is attached to a gear reduction box. The triple expansion steam engine can be attached directly to the propeller shaft here, which will then move the ship. So it's a significantly simpler system. The gear reduction boxes are incredibly uh, expensive to manufacture and hand file to mesh up. And um, you just don't need that with a triple expansion system. And here's that condenser drum I mentioned earlier. So, um, like we mentioned earlier in the program, Lilac is normally open from Memorial Day until October. Check their website for more information. They're on Pier 25 in New York City, so you can go and check the ship out for yourself. Uh, also, we've got some links to their social media in the description below. They've got a YouTube channel if you want to check out some of their content uh, and also some other places to follow them. And uh, yeah, there's also a link down there to where you can donate to support their museum. So, how many of you guys have gotten to sail on a ship with a triple expansion steam engine or see one in operation? There are a very small number of these vessels out there in the Historic Naval Ships Association fleet. Uh, the only two that are currently working that I can think of are the John W. Brown and the Jeremiah O'Brien, both World War II constructed Liberty ships. Lilac is in the process of restoring their engineering equipment, which is why you see all the tools and other stuff down here. Uh, it's a work in progress, and with your support, they can get there one day. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. If you would like to support the museum, uh, go ahead and support Lilac at the link below. And to support Battleship New Jersey, just like, share, and subscribe so that more people find out about our channel and what we're doing. Thanks for watching.